Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Komi Can't Communicate Season 2 Episode Number 10 Reaction. Okay, the previous episode. Um, the school trip is over. Uh, we get the remaining portion of the school trip in the previous episode and uh, we uh, get more acquainted with the two new characters, Sasaki and Kato, both of them who are in Komi's team. We most of the things from you know the, their team's perspective and it was you know the it was shown what they did in the trip and how komi interacted with them both of them had their own you know like like they had like their own type of personality kato was uh more of a make a plan do it according to the plan type of person and she's the one who took the reins of like you know making like a little plan on where to go where you know like which place to go after which this and that and she was a little bit you know like a bit too uh like you know uh pushing on the fact that oh we should go according to the plan uh while on the other hand um sasaki was very casual about this and like you know sasaki we get to know like you know like in the later on that she's actually a very good yo-yo player and when uh komi kind of gets into trouble she she puts on her like you know like a mask a hanya mask and she calls herself why why hanya and <laughs> like you know, kind of saved komi komi was not in trouble but you know they were in that section and she thought that komi was in trouble um, like you know all that stuff like happened we also got to know uh, oh and they had a little bit of a like you know kato and sasuke had a little bit of a um falling out but komi tried her you know because uh, kato was trying to do everything all according to plan while sasaki was like oh like you know like we didn't even wasn't even able to have fun just because of the plan of like oh we do this after this and after this the fun factor went out of it while sasaki uh, kato was like oh i was the only one who made this plan you did nothing like you know, they had like a falling out a little bit of like that so Komi helped them out, like, you know, <laughs> patch the friendship up again. And that was kind of nice as well. In the end, we do get to see um, when they were talking about, like, you know, like, who, what, which person they like and everything. Um, Kato likes Katai. Yeah, that's another thing we got to know. And, uh, oh, another thing. Kato is a, sh like, you know, is a shogi player. It's quite a few things we got to know here and uh, she would love to become uh like you know like shogi master i think they call them dan so all that stuff a lot of information we got to know and komi got more acquainted with them and uh, oh even uh, uh sasaki's persona as yy hanya came out by the end and uh, yeah everyone was like kind of you know like laughing and everything and by the end of it it was a successful trip in the end uh Tada, uh, Tadono asks Komi that did you have fun and Komi was like yeah now I, I love the fact that these two actually get to, got to know Komi in a more personal level unlike all the other characters here most of the other characters here uh, I feel like this would be a, like an, a, a lot more stronger as a friendship with Komi these two will have a much more like, you know, stronger bond with Komi because they actually spend time with her and they know her so i'm kind of glad about that and uh, yeah everything went out pretty well so let's get started with this one this is episode 10 and we're back to the school and i'm guessing we're going to resume with our normal school life so all right so let's start i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing. <laughs> oh boy, Komi wants to talk. Not only Komi, every, all three of them wants to talk. Oh, they became better friends as well. There you go. <laughs> what about Yamai? 
Do there. Well, there you go. Ask for friends to call. <laughs> yeah, everyone become better friends. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Tadan also became good friends with Katai and uh, Naruse. There you go. <laughs> oh yeah, these three, they become like a, like their disciples or something. Okay, please don't say it like that. Yeah, everyone will be like... <laughs> Who's this girl? Okay, that was a new character? Normal air. Aura, not era. I think that would be aura. It's a little translation error, I think. Second negative. <laughs> okay, come on. Tadan will probably give, give her a little push. There you go. A literal push. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow. Ah! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what about Sasaki? Ah, there you go. <laughs> nice. I touched Komi-san. I was thinking, like, he, he actually pushed her. I was like, okay, that's kind of a progress, I guess. I never would have thought that Tadano would himself go and actively touch Komi. But I guess that was because he wanted to give her a little push. Still, you know, like, that's progress, I guess. Oh, that girl, I saw her. The, the girl with the, the buns. I think that, will, that girl will be another addition in the future. <laughs> okay okay this part i i always thought who this person is i, I thought that was um naruse you know the way the transition ha happened i thought that was naruse with the mask but now i understand who it is okay there you go valentine wait what Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I haven't decided. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Yo, Tadanus. What's up with the animation today? I feel like the animation is kind of weird, isn't it? Isn't it the, the figures and everything is kind of weird looking? Oh, it's a little siblings. Wow. <laughs> Oh, a new person? Onemine <laughs> Katsuya. Oh my god. <laughs> what? 
Oke. Okay. Ah. Oh, wait, wasn't it three? Oh, was that four? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Nice. Wait, the using eggs? What are they making? Cake? Or are they making cake? Brandy? Yeah, they're making cake. Okay. I thought they were going to make chocolate or something. Normal chocolate. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she works in slow motion. Okay. Oh boy. Wow. Okay. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is this a little one? No, wait. Oh, okay. Wow, okay, what? Gary says <laughs> Nice Oh no Yo, just snuck a few tastes. <laughs> Wait, they're playing Trump? <laughs> Gary says, Well, Hmm. <laughs> Okay, come on, a little. <laughs> Promptly lost it. Wow. <laughs> well, they're little kids, so. Sha. Sha. Hmm, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> wow, that was that was nice. Her voice actor is um Kaguya's voice actor, isn't it? I think so. I'm talking about Komi. <laughs> oh, is that the wait? Is that was that the other sibling? Yeah. Okay. So that's why she she said four siblings. You're making a lot. <laughs> Reserved become uh... Hmm, okay. <laughs> what is with the anime not animation but the character models? Now it's okay. Th that moment I was like what? <laughs> Whoa. Wait <laughs> She was gonna put it in it. Wow. Is he like checking? Yep. <laughs> 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 
Oh no. Well, patience, child. <laughs> patience. I can. The animation is really weird today. Casually checking inside the six. <laughs> Wow, she oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God, I feel what is she going to? I hope there's nothing in it. It's normal chocolate? Oh my god. No, it's not normal. <laughs> you know what this reminded me of? This reminds me of that episode from Shimoneta. The whole Anna episode where she put weird things in cookies. That episode. Okay. She's like, I'm going to keep this forever. This will be in my... <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> the foolish mason. Oh, wow. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Incredibly giddy. Yes, she brought one for everyone. Come uh, okay. What? <laughs> yeah, they know about it. He knows about it. Uh, she. Will. Oh no. Oh, is it? Wait. Um, did Tadon even bring something? <laughs> Wait, what? What's happening? I did not expect Yamai to do that. <laughs> Yo, he push it put in the pan. Bullet like chocolate. Um. <laughs> Wait, are they like having delusions? Are they having delusions? Oh my god! I was like, why is Yamai okay? I was so confused. <laughs> the bad mouthing me girls are scary. Uh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he didn't realize what it is. <laughs> Wait, does... He knows his fans. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, patience, child. Good things are going to come. Oh no. Ugh. He's like, haha. Oh boy. <laughs> Komi still hasn't given it to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we couldn't give that. Oh boy. Oh. Like, give it to him when you're going back, you know? 
What the? Wait, who? <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh my god. Zero. But, but can't I give? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was one. I thought Onimine would at least give something to him. Like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> From family member. <laughs> oh no. Doesn't count. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> What? What's happening? What, what is happening? What's happening? Why did she suddenly tell him to go? A comb is here. Uh. Doesn't. Ah. Ah. <laughs> uh. Mm. Nah, it's fine. Okay, so... <laughs> ah, come on. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, come on, Komi. Oh no, she's still hesitating. Oh my god. Uh. Eesh. Oh boy. Uh. Okay, there you go. Damn, she's like already halfway to us her home. Ah, oh, she's speaking. There you go. Um, oh, please, no, stop. Okay. There you go. Mm 
<laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> it's too early for something else, but you know, this is barely the second season, so. Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> he just nonchalantly like, oh my god. <laughs> He did not understand what he, she was trying to say. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. Well, at least she was able to give it. Like, I at least thought that... I don't know, like... Like, at least Onemine would give, like... Like, you know, French chocolate or something to... A lot of people and uh, I like I saw barely any people giving any chocolates to anyone. Like only the girls were giving it amongst themselves, and that was just it. Like, and obviously there were exceptions. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Kato gave one to Katai, and uh, yeah, like that was it. And there was like the, the, all those g boys were like having delusions and everything. Nothing else. I thought they were at least going to give like you know. You know, like I, on multiple animals, I've seen them giving like red chocolates, as they say. So, and Komi gave it to everyone, obviously. But other than that, like nothing else. So I was quite surprised. I, I, I at least, I also at least thought Tanam would get at least one or two, maybe. Like, you know, one, I, I, I thought Onimin was going to give to everyone, you know. Uh, I also thought Najimi is going to give one to everyone. Uh, but... He, she only gave a little one to Komi, I think. That's it. There you go. That's it. All right. Uh, first of all, this let me know. Like, you know, was that only me? The, the the character models in this episode were kind of weird, wasn't it? Like, you know, the animations were fine, but the character models, their faces, and everything. I was like, what is happening? What? <laughs> Today's episode is kind of looking a little bit weird with the facial expressions and everything. <laughs> but either way, you know, um, we begin this episode with um, Komi, you know, like they're back in school. And uh, <clears throat> first of all, Komi was kind of hesitating to talk to um, Kato and uh, Asaki. Now, this is one thing that kind of happens i guess like you know you made some new friends in your uh trip school trip you come back and then you're like oh boy should i actually initiate the conversation or something and uh, that that does happen i guess especially for people who are <coughs> introverts you know so <laughs> That was that was that was pretty like you know relatable I guess you could say the whole situation like you know though all of those three girls were not accustomed to talking to Komi neither was Komi accustomed to talking to others so they were like okay so what should we do like you know should we normally go on with our like you know normal routine of like you know just being in class talking with everyone and you know like or should I just actively go and say hi to Komi and um you know like the other girl so that that happened so at, at the beginning they were kind of hesitating and everything obviously komi wanted to talk to them but you know like she she was thinking like you know how she should start a conversation she was hesitating she was just standing there and not only them but i feel like like all the other characters that we saw 
in this episode for example na naka naka became better friends with agari well yamai as always you know like her rivalry with uh, naka naka that whole thing of just you know like kind of making fun of her while naka naka gets mad that that type of a, like you know fr- friendship rivalry kind of thing while on the other hand um katai and naruse and tadano became better friends uh <clears throat> who else uh what oh onemine yeah onemine uh, otori and uh, inaka those two also became better friends and th- that that happened so i feel like <clears throat> the thing here is <clears throat> Kato and Sasaki had no prior conversation with Komi before the uh, school trip but all these characters they did talk to each other or like you know know each other so i feel like them going to school trip and they become better friends and that's why they're like you know kind of talking more with each other while in case of Sasaki and Kato since they never had any conversation with Komi before the school trip they were feeling like a little bit awkward to initiate the conversation because they never did that before so <clears throat> that was the reason for the difference you know like and as soon as you start talking everything becomes fine like it's just how it is you know like the initial step that you want to take to initiate the conversation that's the little <clears throat> tricky portion in these type of situations like as soon as you like uh, initiate the conversation and it's like oh how are you doing or like you know uh, like you know how's your day today and start the conversation some way or the other it starts flowing normally and everything becomes normal and that's what happened here uh, <clears throat> komi was hesitating but tadano kind of realized what was happening tadano kind of gave her a push like a literal push <laughs> and uh, then komi went and initiated the conversation with uh, um kato yeah kato i forgot her name for a second there uh, initiated the conversation with kato and kato kind of laughed she's like oh do you always like you know use your notebook to converse or something and <clears throat> seeing that opportunity that those two are talking um sasaki was like all right let me also join in and she she joined in so there you go and and like just like i said you know you needed to get the conversation going and the conversation started as soon as you do that everything is just normal you know just normally talking to each other and they started talking to each other normally from there onwards after that there was that section i'm reading it now uh, the whole section with tadan kind of like when he's looking at his hands and i touched komisan's back she's so slender and soft no no was it okay of me to push her back like that i wasn't trying to rush her or anything but did it come off as a little too rough wait was that sexual harassment what if she asks why i did that no komisan would never think that <laughs> god damn <laughs> I was thinking, you know, I was like, damn, I don't know, he he's so comfortable now that he can just push her. And there you go. This is what happened after that. <laughs> I I think he he probably got like way into the like you know like sin- situation that he he probably didn't even realize that oh I pushed her. And then in the end she, he probably understood what he did. <laughs> and started like you know fussing thinking about oh should I have done that or not? Okay, next is the whole Valentine's Day epi- uh, section where <clears throat> Tadano Komi is there. Komi is talking to Onemine. Onemine is like, oh, Komi, will you join me? And I usually make chocolates for my family, so can you help me out? <clears throat> and yeah, uh, oh, even Otori joins in. And they go to Onemine's house and we meet the <clears throat> siblings. <clears throat> I think we saw the siblings before as well, but this is the first time we actually officially meet them. So okay so all everyone is there and uh, the, by the way the siblings kind of latched on to Otori it, it seemed like Otori is kind of like a frequent visitor here uh but Komi is new you know Komi is here new so all the three siblings were like oh, who is this and <laughs> wait their their dress their this like the the boy has why the little girl has a and the small girl i think that's a girl has o a y o okay <laughs> i just noticed that <clears throat> now <clears throat> you know they obviously they're kids like you know, the, the 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 little kid the the boy uh he kind of just slapped her <laughs> I'm like, god damn <laughs> it's like <laughs> anyways um so yeah 
uh, they're kind of like kind of uh, messing around and everything and komi uh only minute calls komi to start the process of making chocolates now i thought they were making chocolates but no they were making cake so yeah that makes sense um you know because it's a family thing so they start making the uh chocolate cake and uh at first Otto it starts like mixing it and one minute it's like oh my god like if you do it like it'll take <laughs> it'll take a month so yeah and the kids also decided to help and you know like it kind of reminded me of how the kids do stuff they're like just are like oh they're very excited very curious they're like oh i'm going to do this and they start doing it for like an after five minutes they're like ah, i'm bored like <laughs> just leaves it and goes away that's basically what happened at the beginning they were so hyped up they started like you know mixing it and after like five minutes they realized that you need to keep doing this for a lot of time so they were like ah, i'm bored and i can't be bothered to do this <laughs> okay but either way komi comes in and komi starts you know, just mixing everything blending it and uh, yeah she has the technique perfectly and all the kids were like oh this is so cool now uh, the the list uh, the i think her name is kazu something called kazuha or kazu something either way the boy you know the little boy he was like started calling komi as scary sis or, uh, or uh, yeah yeah scary sis so <laughs> like this is something like you know like i feel like um this also happens in in the school as well like a lot of people like you know since they put her in a pedestal a lot of people are also kind of intimidated by komi maybe because usually she makes kind of like you know weird faces thinking about whether i should talk to the other person or not and seeing that like and people kind of are like oh my god like you know what's happening should i like, you know like is it okay to talk to him her and they don't engage in conversation with komi and uh, <clears throat> that's why you know like komi and komi being quiet as well is a lot of people probably think that oh she doesn't want to talk to me or like you know she's scary or she, she doesn't like talking that type of thing but as as the narrator always says you know in the beginning like communication disorder is a thing where it's not that people don't want to talk you know like you know it's that they cannot do it you know like like a conversation is something that they gladly accept and they're happy about it no, it's not that they don't want to talk so that basically that like you know people misunderstand and uh, since these are little kids they just basically told it in front of her she the, the 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 boy was like oh you're scary scary sis your name is scary sis <laughs> so yeah anyways um now they were doing like you know, making the cake and everything and now the the siblings they're like Oh, like you know, why don't you talk? And uh, <laughs> um, uh, what's her name? Um, Onamina was like, oh, she's just shy, you know, don't don't bother her. <laughs> and they're like, okay, okay, so you're shy, so say ah. <laughs> Tommy says ah, and they just lost interest minutes after that. Either way, in the end, you know, like when they were like you know, microwaving it, they do say, you know, that uh, oh, you should talk more because your voice is pretty. And okay, now I think I need to double check this. Home is voice actress. It's Kafia's voice actress, isn't it? Um, I think so. As far as I can remember. Okay, you know what? Let me check it. <coughs> uh, Komi Shoko. There you go. Voice actress. Where is it? Japanese Koga Aoi. Yep, I think yeah, Koga Aoi is Kafia's voice actress. I think let me double check there you go kagya so yeah like it's, it's so crazy you know like how both uh, kagya and uh, komi is like the shows which is like like slice of life rom-com kind of thing and both of their main characters main female lead is uh voice acted by the same person kind of crazy um anyways um okay so now they they obviously they have like you know they have the cake they eat it and you know it's it's, it's tasty everyone's happy and there you go <laughs> they almost like you know like finished almost everything by the end they weren't able to keep anything for you know the the next day that was that the next part we start with the 
uh, Valentine's Day episode. The, they're in school and uh, Komi goes in. At first, Komi is like, all right, all right, I'm going to put it in Tadano's shoe locker. <laughs> but then she kind of like, you know, like just got embarrassed and wasn't able to do it. It just went away. And Tadano did check, you know, even like, you know, very specifically his own uh, shoe box today. Just in case, you know, there was something. Now, here's one thing which we get to know in the later portion where they, the narrator says that Tadano waited, uh, like, you know, the previous day, he was very much anticipating at least one or two chocolates and one definitely from Komi. But yeah, this is something that I also thought, you know, like that he, like, you know, like from, from the beginning episode of season one, he has a lot of more friends, you know, here. And I'm talking about Tadan. So expecting something, you know, at least one or two, it's, it's, it's pretty normal. But it's sad that, you know, like, uh, like uh, not sad, I would say, because Komi did give him uh, the chocolates by the end of it. Still, you know, like, out of the shock after <laughs> realizing that, oh, I don't have anything, like, and no one gave me anything. <laughs> That's kind of brutal, you know. Uh, either way, like, not even French chocolates. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so Tadano goes to his uh, class, like, you know, and, and he sees Komi giving chocolates to everyone. First of all, in comes Najimi. Najimi gives, like, a small little toffee kind of thing, and <laughs> Komi gives her <laughs> actual, like, you know, chocolates. And <laughs> oh, Najimi is like, ah, this is perfect. I'm going to give them store brought little chocolates while I'm going to get in returns. So many like you know handmade chocolates that's perfect <laughs> typical najimi just calculating everything now yamai i knew something was probably wrong with her chocolates now as i said this <laughs> i i had the i had the feeling or like a thing where i thought maybe this is going to go the whole if you've not seen shimoneta you know it's another anime you won't be able to understand what i'm referencing <laughs> the whole Anna's love just <laughs> episode was just crazy. I thought it would be something like that, you know, like she would put something in the chocolate. Thankfully, she did not do anything like that. It was just made. It, it was just her face on it, and that was it. So <laughs> either way, after Komi gives her like you know her share of chocolates, she's she's just so excited. She just ends up being unconscious <laughs> the angels come in and take her off <laughs> now nakanaka as always nakanaka you know is like ah oh, these this uh event is just an event for idiots these are all employed by the chocolate companies to <laughs> to make profit <laughs> and these these plebeians they're just falling into the trap like fools I'm not like them and they keep she was monologuing as soon as Komi comes in she just stops <laughs> and she, she gets the chocolate and she's so happy now uh, I, they gave it to Agari as well and everyone else while here on the other hand Sasaki Sasaki knows the person they like you know, like the person Sasaki and not yeah Sasaki yeah uh, the person Kato and Komi likes so she was like oh are you going to do something to the chocolates are you going to give it to a special someone <laughs> but yeah all that was happening now Makoto does come in and Makoto was like okay I know about a thing called French chocolate so I should give it to Tarano <laughs> and uh, and at first she, he doesn't give it but later on she he does now, here's one section where I got so confused when I saw Yamai giving one to Chiarai and her acting like a Sundra. I was like, what is happening? Is, is this real? And then, like, I, like, it's crazy how they completely go in delusion mode, even in the middle of class. I was actually not expecting that to be a delusion. That's why I was so confused. I was like, is this really happening? Why is Yamai giving stuff to him? You know, I, I don't think that would ever happen. And like, I was surprised. And then when I saw uh, Nakanaka coming in and Nakanaka giving one to the other guy, I forgot his name. I was like, oh my God, this must be a delusion. Like, how can this happen? And uh, then as obviously like the other delusion the uh, Shinobino was having was, uh, 
what's his name uh what's her name uh, inaka inaka giving something to her uh, him and uh like these are all delusions and there you go in the end we got to know that and i'm like okay like <laughs> yeah that's crazy now <clears throat> Kato comes in and obviously pushes uh, no sorry Sasaki comes in and pushes uh, Kato in the direction of Katai and uh, <laughs> Kato gives uh, you know the chocolate to him and everyone's like oh my god like, these are, this is not a delusion this is real now Kato, Katai I, I doubt he realized anything he, he probably did not understand what was happening uh, and uh, even Komi comes in and gives Katai uh, like, you know, like friend chocolates so, Katai was like, oh, it must be, my master is telling me to be more bold and proactive. And uh, after like, you know, getting that imaginary support from Komi, he went to uh, Tadano and he was like, oh, here we go, Tadano, you know, like, this is, this is for you, a friend chocolate. And uh, Tadano was, obviously, Tadano was very happy. And uh, Tadano was like, okay, I'm going to give it to, like, you know, white, you, you a return gift in white day. <laughs> and Komi was just staring at them. She was probably thinking like, my God, even Kata was able to give it to him. Why am I not able to give it to him? Either way, you know, like nothing happens. Komi doesn't give anything to Tadano. Tadano again went to the shoe locker and checked thoroughly. Nothing is there. It was just a pebble. Like, <laughs> now... Tadano, oh my god. Tadano, then, then we get that flashback where Tadano was thinking, like, I should be getting at least one chocolate, you know, like, at least one. And he was confident. And I was also thinking, like, yeah, at least one of them, and I think he should have gotten. But no, nothing. And he was so heartbroken. Like, the fact that Komi gave, like, I think like, that was the main reason why he was so heartbroken, is that Komi gave one to everyone and not him. And... You know, like it, it, it is. It should be heartbroken at that point because you know, like he always, like you know, talks to Komi and he, he, like you know, he, he thinks that he's Komi's good friend, and Komi gives one to everyone but not him. Even after he's back home, he's like, why? Like, you know, why did this happen? You know? And uh, yeah, like he, he's just, he just sprawls down on the ground as soon as he comes back. <laughs> his sister and his mom comes, and. Uh, yeah, they gave him chocolates, but Katadon's like, oh, that doesn't count. Uh, that's from family members. Now, <laughs> his sister makes fun of him, like, you know, saying like, oh, you got, at least got one chocolate from a boy. <laughs> now, I don't understand this part here. What the hell happened here? What did happen here? Like, you know, at first, his sister is talking about how like you know a boy gave him chocolate tells it to her mom and the mom is like i don't know about that but he must be a kind boy her mom gets up goes out i don't understand this part at all his sister made a weird noise like kind of gasped a little bit i don't know why she looks towards the mom she realizes something and she's like, bro, go buy ice cream. But what happened here? And she's like, listen, eating ice cream in winter is a real thing. Sometimes you just want to eat ice cream when it's warm inside. They are actually increasing. Like she starts rambling about this. Now, like what happened here? Why did she suddenly act like that? I, I really don't understand what happened here. I'm trying, I'm, I'm seeing that scene multiple times to figure out what happened. I don't understand. Why did she suddenly gasp like that when her, when the mom got up and went towards the outside and she suddenly started talking about ice cream and talking about how Tazan should go outside. I have no idea what happened here. Either way, no, I, I don't have any clue what why she acted like that. You know, Tadano tries to go outside and she 
she like you know like not she sorry he realizes that Komi is outside standing. <laughs> His mom was like, oh, <laughs> what did she say? Like called him by Chan. So she got embarrassed and he's like, okay, let's go to the nearby park. And they go outside. They sit down in the park and oh my god, I still Komi isn't able to give you know like the the uh, chocolate to him gives like a notice which. Uh, Tadam was supposed to go and get get from uh, Najimi, but he did not go. That's why he ended up not getting it. So, <laughs> like, oh my God, Tadam had a, like a feeling, had a like a thing that oh maybe Komi is here to give me chocolate, and like that expectation. And uh, you know, like he's like, oh, is this it? And uh, then Komi gets up, and Tadam was like, oh, yeah, what I was I expecting? Like you know, like it should be Komi's decision what he wants to give to me or not. And she was thinking about that, just going back, feeling sad, while like and and there's a section where she's like, oh, I hope Komi doesn't hate me or anything. Obviously, the, the way he why the reason why he's thinking that is because he thinks that she gave one to everyone. Why not him? You know, like that's why. So either way, the like, she was thinking now, Komi was all like you know on her way back. She stops, goes back, and calls Tadano by her own voice. And yeah, they come down and Komi, like again, like she was bring taking out some random notebook from the bag, and I'm like, please stop, just grab the chocolate, please. Like you know that that's enough. <laughs> and yeah, she ended up putting it back and grabbing the chocolate after that. And there you go, he she gives gives it to Tadano, and Tadano does say that oh, I was thinking I won't get anything today, you know, like because you never gave anything to me. He gave one to everyone. She, she was kind of talking it about these. Komi doesn't understand anything. She's like, what? <laughs> Tano was like, okay, it's fine. No problem. And uh... <laughs> then Komi's like, <laughs> this is the one that is the best one that I make, made. And at this moment, Tadano does not understand what that actually implies. You know, like basically she tried to say that, yeah, this is more special than the other ones. All the other chocolates that I gave to everyone. You know, like that was her own way of saying that. Obviously, Tadano does not realize what she tried to say. Tadano was like, "Oh, yeah, okay." Well, like I think she she kind of does something like that, and Komi gets embarrassed and just runs away. And <laughs> yeah, like that was definitely implying that. You know, like she said that this is better than the others, or this this like ended up being way more better than the other chocolates that I made. She said it like that. You know. So <laughs> Tano's like, oh, like you know, it's okay. You know, you shouldn't have done that. You know, he he doesn't even understand what she tried to say at that moment. I guess I don't blame him because he was not even expecting to get anything. You know, at this point, when Komi was going back, so suddenly, like you know, that came as like a curveball towards Tadano, and he wasn't able to understand what she was implying. And she's he's like, oh, okay, like oh, you like you shouldn't have like you know, it, it's okay. It it would have been fine if you did not do that. That's what he said, but the whole nuance behind that went above his head because he wasn't even expecting to get anything from Komi after because it's it's night time now, and uh, but Komi did try to kind of you know hint that oh this is more special than the others, so either way like <laughs> that is where it ends, and uh, yeah like thankfully Tadano got something by the end. And that's all that matters, <laughs> you know, like um, from Komi and that's all that matters. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. This is my reaction to Komi Can't Communicate season two, episode number 10. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next week with another episode of Komi Can't Communicate. Until then, goodbye. And have a nice day.